Good morning. Why don't you join me for breakfast? Hey, how are you doing this morning? Breakfast is the first meal of the day where you refuel from your fast of sleeping. On my table today, I have a healthy looking meal. I've got a bowl of imported McCann's Irish oatmeal. Steel cut and it's Irish. Topped with just a few organic raspberries and a nice old cup of coffee. My breakfast fuels me up with just over 400 calories and it satisfies me. So for just over a buck and a half hour reading the morning paper, I'm ready to hit the world. But consider this. This bowl of oatmeal porridge to which I've just added a little bit of butter, uh, you know, a little bit of salt. We should consider it from a different perspective, maybe. What kind of perspective? Perhaps a perspective such as a Saudi Arabian one. It's oil, and lots of it. Now how about we drill a little bit deeper into this breakfast? Just where does this tiny little gusher of oil actually come from? Nearly 20% of this oil went into growing my raspberries in Chile, thousands of miles away. And then the oatmeal came from County Kildare in Ireland. And the coffee came from Guatemala. 40% of the breakfast went into packaging, shipping, and containing these things. Take the box of McCann's Irish Oatmeal. On the uh, cover, it's pure healthy goodness. There's a bowl of porridge topped by two peach slices, and scattered around the bowl are a handful of raw oats, and four acorns, and some fresh raspberries. The raw oats are actually a reminder that there are a few steps twixt field and box. In fact, a visit to the McCann's website illustrates all the stuff that happens. Steps of cleaning, steaming, cutting, and rolling that turns the raw oats into edible flakes. These five steps require significant energy, of course. Next, the oats go into a plastic bag made from oil, which is then inserted into an energy-intensive pressed pulp wood paper box that's been printed on. Only then does my breakfast leave Ireland to go on a 5,000-mile trip across the ocean. But we are, of course, using ships, not planes. So that path roughly doubles carbon dioxide emitting miles, and then go by a truck from wherever the port is to my grocery store. And then, coming from another hemisphere, the raspberries take an even longer trip. A product of Chile, it says, and that's a 5,800 mile trip. The next 40% accounts for the simple acts of keeping the food fresh. For decades, scientists have been calculating how much energy goes into our food from growing, packaging, processing, and disposing the food, and then comparing that to what edible output that the food gives us. According to researchers at the University of Michigan, they found that there's about seven calories that goes into each one calorie that we eat. So my 400 calorie breakfast is worth almost 3,000 calories. For example, the coffee, it takes, it costs about 8,000 calories to do all the processing for one kind of coffee. That's worth about a quart of crude oil, 30, 30 cubic feet of natural gas or 3.5 pounds of coal, and that's not even if I wanted it decaffeinated. Perhaps you think you're in the clear because you're eating only organic foods. My friend, a raspberry is still packaged, shipped, and chilled the same way, and they, the farmers still use fertilizer, organic fertilizer, that they have to ship in hundreds of tons from hundreds of miles away. Now I went through what it takes for one meal. How much energy, how much crude oil, the equivalent, imagining it in your mind. And the energy required for a single person to have breakfast for a week? It's more than two quarts of crude oil. But, 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 what does this tell you? It's more than I've said so far. If right now you're thinking, man, I should go and eat locally grown organic vegetables, then you know what? You're missing the point. I just described what it takes for you, say, a very environmentally conscious person to have a breakfast, a 400 calorie breakfast. Me, I like my meals a little bit more than 400 calories. I wouldn't be able to eat much more than a Snickers bar. So the fact is, I'm trying to live, dude. Are we trying to say it's unviable for me to live? Well, me? You're not going to catch me going on less than 400 calories a day to save the environment.